Now the reading for the rest of the week mainly has to deal with uh, Justine's trial and also the death of William. Now Mary had a child named William who died, but it was after the book was written. So whether it was life and retaining nature, I don't know, but it seemed kind of bad luck for her to name her child William. But at any rate, William dies, and Justine Moritz, the nurse, the, go the governess, the maid, kind of a combination of all three, is accused of, the, um, of his death. Now, um, Victor knows that Justine didn't do it, but does he come out and say so? Heck no! He keeps saying that he is responsible for her death, or he says it a couple of times, and he is. Now, curiously enough, Elizabeth also blames herself for Justine's death. And this goes back to that Eve thing and Pandora thing of women being guilty. Elizabeth also is the female, the, almost the mother figure at this point, the nurturer. She couldn't save William. She can't save Justine. What happens to women who do save uh, children, though? Well, they die. But we'll find out what happens to Elizabeth later. And then, of course, they have Justine's trial, and we, we see how she admits to it, and then later she recants and says that I, I only admitted to um, the death, uh, said that I did it because, you know, the priest said I was going to go to hell if I didn't. So you have some comments there on religion as well. So in the first eight chapters, we see the establishment of uh, Victor Frankenstein as the male mother. We see other mythic themes as well, predestination, uh, hubris, which goes along with the quest for knowledge. And these things will be repeated throughout um, the novel. We see how Victor compares with other male mothers, particularly Prometheus, because remember, he is the modern Prometheus, and how he feels utterly as a parent because he rejects his offspring. And he rejects his offspring because he, Victor, has upset the balance of nature, and because of that, his child is born hideously deformed. But instead of loving it anyway, he rejects it, and he runs away. He claims he is fated to do this. He, he absolves himself for even the responsibility of abandoning the creature. And during this time, he, he, he doesn't even seem to even think about the creature, what could have happened. And it'll be two years before he hears of that creature again.